Hey everyone's Jackal Wolf back in Sky Factory 4 with another 5 minutes. That's how I did it. Now, if you've been following along, you know that we are working our way through the advancement book. Uh, last episode, we finished off page one by doing the do the crafted donut sapling, and that would have given us our first uh, piece of prestige uh, if we'd been playing with prestige on. Uh, this episode, we're going to start working on a little bit of storage. Uh, as you can see, I have got in a couple of these advancements. Uh, we've gotten the Whopper advancements, which was to craft a wooden hopper. And then we got the Hop to it advancement, which was to craft a vanilla hopper. Now, I don't know if this is an actual advancement or not, if you end up uh, with it uh, regardless, but the age of storage may have been to craft a chest. And I mean, we did that one probably uh, episode one. So this episode, what we're going to work is on is the, would you hand me that crate, please? Which is to craft a wooden crate. Uh, we're also going to do the metallic crate, which is to craft a, a metal crate. And then we're also going to do the it fits we ship which is to craft a shipping container now the first two are very very similar in uh how they are used the last one is actually a little bit different and it is kind of a unique little item um especially if you got a lot of uh storage that you are not uh, actively using all the time but uh, what we're going to do first is we're going to make ourselves that wooden crate now to make a wooden crate it is simply a chest in the crafting table with six pieces of wood planks and we're going to take that out and we're going to come and we're going to place this into the the world. Now, uh, a wooden crate has very, very specific front. Uh, you can see there the sides and the tops and the bottoms are all very different color. You can actually place this in different directions as well. You can place it on like on the roof facing down. You can place it on the floor uh, facing up. It all really depends on how you want to handle your storage, but uh, very, very similar to these storage drawers. Uh, these will take one item only. So I got a little bit of a cobblestone here. We're just going to throw that into that wooden crate. So as you can see, we've got zero stacks of cobblestone plus 49. So that means we've got 49 pieces of cobblestone in here. If we had 65 pieces of cobblestone in here, it would be 64 times one uh, plus one. Oh, sorry, I grabbed it out, but plus one to make that uh, extra, that 65th piece of cobblestone. Uh, these are interactable with uh, pipes and, you know, uh, transit conduits and things like that. Uh, they are really, really cool uh, if you've got, you know, the time and the patience to make some really, really complicated storage systems. But uh, next up, what we're going to do is we're going to work on the metal version of that crate. Uh, but to do that, we're going to need some iron plates. Now, there are a couple of different ways to do it. What we're going to do is we're going to build ourselves a forging hammer. Uh, to build the forging hammer, it is simply a piece of smooth stone in a crafting table with four wood logs, two sticks, and a half slab of wood. We're going to take this out, and uh, like so much else in Sky Factory 4, it is an actual placeable item in the world. As you see, it, it kind of looks like a gallows, but it, it actually goes and presses uh, items into other into plates, basically. So what we're going to do is we're going to take 64 uh, pieces of iron. You can see the uh, the arrow has gone down. We actually watch it in the world. And if we right click on there, we can see we've got ourselves an iron plate. Uh, this is a little slow if you need some iron plates uh, quickly. Uh, you could also do this in the smell tree or the melter with a cast uh, of a plate. You know, just make a gold cast of it and you can sort of cast these uh, as well. Uh, both, uh, you know, take a little bit of time to uh, finish off. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to cut here really quick while I get, uh, I'm going to need 12 of these total and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, we are back. As you see, we've got six of these iron plates already. So while it is working in the background, let us finish off this metal crate and then we'll come back and we'll work on the shipping container. But uh, to make a metal crate, we're going to need six of these iron plates in a crafting table with a regular wooden crate. Uh, that gets us our metal crate. You can see we've got that advancement metallic crate. Uh, we're going to come over here. We're going to place this down. Uh, very, very similar to the wooden crates. These operate exactly the same way. Uh, the default uh, storage amount for both of these is 64. Uh, both of them can be upgraded with uh, crate upgrades. Uh, we're not going to work on that one this episode. That is probably going to be next episode. Um, but uh, the metal crates can be upgraded a lot more than the wooden crates. I think the wooden crates could go up to like a thousand and something uh, stacks of items, whereas the metal crates go up to, off the top of my head, I want to say it's like 5,000 or it, it is a a, a just an enormous amount of resources uh, at the top end of it. But uh, that's going to be for next episode. Uh, that is the metal crate. Uh, what we're going to want to do now is we need one more of those plates and then we can go work on our shipping container. So we're just going to give this one more second and it should be uh, 
you know, fairly, fairly quick. Uh, as soon as it gets up here, we go, we got the arrows coming down. As soon as that is done, there we go. We got six iron plates. So we're going to come over here. We need to make ourselves one more of those metallic crates. Uh, those metal crates, uh, the achievement is, or the advancement is metallic crates. We're going to take that out of the crafting table. We're going to put that in the crafting table with an iron bar and seven blocks of iron. That gets us a shipping container. Now, these are a really, really big items in the world. So what we're going to do is we're going to go one, two, three, four, uh, just so it doesn't look like it's floating. I mean, it certainly you can make these float if you want, uh, but we're going to place this down. And as you can see, it is a really, really large storage container, but it is not like your regular storage containers or a chest or, uh, you know, the cabinets or anything like that. Uh, this storage container does not actually take items in this world. Like I am trying my best to put items into the shipping container. It will not take them. What it will take is actual storage containers. Now let me just grab my, I can't believe I've still got a wooden pickaxe, but what we're going to do is we're going to break, oh, item cobblestone. Okay. One second here. Let's take this, um, let's take these out, we're going to put them into the here. And then what we're going to do is, uh, we're going to, going to pick that up and that storage crate has items in it. So let's just go and we can go, we can place it back in the world. You see, it's still got those items. Uh, we can take it, pick it up with us. And then we're going to come over here. We're going to open that up and there you go. We can actually put a uh, storage crates into the shipping container. So uh, if you've got a, a lot of items, like if you've got a full crate and it's just taking up space in your world and you don't think you're actually going to be uh, using it, uh, you know, at any particular time, you can take that full crate and put it into this shipping container. So you can actually keep like 27 of these uh, storage crates uh, in the uh, shipping containers. Uh, so they are a good source of, you know, uh, long long-term storage. So uh, again, like if you've, if you've maxed out all of your like lapis uh, saplings and you're pretty sure you're not going to need them anymore, you can take those crates, you can put them in here and, uh, you know, keep them safe until you actually need them. You can actually look at them. You see this one has got cobblestone in it. Um, you know, we could pull out a different one and, you know, fill it up with something different. So they are kind of searchable. Uh, they are, you know, kind of nifty. Uh, they're not going to be for everyone though, but uh, that is going to be it for this one, guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please stick around with a like and a subscribe. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Jackal Wolf. Uh, also, check out the description below. There is a link to my Discord page. I would love it if you guys stopped by to say hi. Uh, but that is it. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.